Hello. Today I'd like to show you how to make uh, just a small quilt using one fat quarter that perhaps is a favourite fat quarter. We love to collect fat quarters I've noticed and sometimes we don't love so much to cut them up. So I just thought it would be quite fun to make a small quilt using a fat quarter for the central area. So this is the quilt that I'm going to show you. As you can see it's, it's a very simple quilt but it showcases the fabric so nicely and this one I'm guessing is going to be used for a child. I just thought those monsters were quite monstrous so we've ended up with a monster quilt and I've actually got more monsters on the back so we've really gone overboard on monsters. But So for the center of the uh, quilt I've really just used a fat quarter which I've cut into a square and then I've had some extra fabrics for the borders and things. So this is a pattern that I've done. It's as I said a simple quilt great for quick gifts and things and it's going to be free on my website on gourmetquilter.com so you can just go to my website into the patterns and you can download it for free and it just gives you a diagram and some measurements and amounts of fabrics and things that you need so it's a very basic quilting idea as much as anything um, and I'm just going to quickly run through now how I've done the cutting uh, and there's a couple of other things that I'll tell you as we go along and of course it doesn't have to be for a child, you might collect all sorts of other exotic fabrics like musical fabrics or floral fabrics or who knows what it is that you like and you might be preferring to make something like a table topper quilt rather than something for a baby. So I've got another fabric here that I'm just going to show you and I'll do the cutting of that. I tend to love children's fabrics but then I tend to love Japanese fabrics and food fabrics and Really, I just love fabric, so that's kind of where I go. So here I've got a very nice uh, Japanese fabric that is going to be my center. So this is a fat quarter. A fat quarter measures somewhere in the order of 18 inches along the selvage, and it's half the width of the fabric, so it's probably going to be about 21 or 22 inches wide. And from that, according to my pattern instructions that I've written it all out for you, I'm going to cut a 17 and a half inch square um, for my center. And then I've got two other fabrics. You need a third of a yard of something for the narrow borders and the binding. And then you need about half a yard of fabric to do the outer uh, part, of the, the main outer border. And then of course you need your batting and backing extra to that. But I'll just quickly show you how I do the 17 and a half inch square from my fat quarter here. So I'm going to fold that in half. Um, so that I can manage because my ruler is not long enough. I have got a longer ruler but I'm using this one today. And so I'm going to line up that on my board so that it's sitting nice and straight with the lines of the board. So if you've got a fold there or you know you've got some straight edges, if you line them up it just makes things sit nice and straight. And I'm just going to trim off, again I use the, the measurements on my board to help me with cutting. So I'm just going to trim off just a little bit at the edge just to make sure I've got a really nice straight edge there and I'm going to come all the way along to 17 and a half inches on the board and then I'm just going to cut through there so this piece is left over this is now ready for you to do some other project with pop it into your little stash and now this was already 18 inches because it was just the fat quarter size so we've still got to trim that down just a little bit so I've turned it round folded it over the other way and again I'm going to now line that straight edge that I've just cut along there and I'm going to just again now you won't have very much to trim off this time because it's probably was only about 18 inches and we're just taking it down a little bit so again I'm just going to neaten up that edge along there and come along to 17 and a half inches so you can see you're not trimming very much off this time so there's not a lot of wastage and, and quite a nice little usable piece left over. So there's my 17 and a half inch square. That's the largest square that I can comfortably cut from a fat quarter. So that's kind of why we're using that size. And then for my, my borders, I've got a third of a yard of fabric here and that's going to be folded over. So this is the full width of the fabric. So I'm going to have it folded in half. And then I'm going to fold it in half again to cut my narrow borders and my binding strips as well at the same time. So again I'm going to use the board to line myself up with so that I get a nice straight edge. I'm going to cut a straight edge up here and I'm going to, I need 
To go all the way around this, we're just going to put a, a one inch finished border around. So I need to cut one and a half inch wide strips and I actually need two of them um, from the fabric, for the, from the full width of the fabric and then cut into the lengths that we need. So I'm going to cut two of those at one and a half inches. And then this is also going to be used for the binding. So I'm now going to cut my three binding strips that we're going to need. You need three strips to get all the way around a quilt that size. And I, I usually cut my binding two and a half inches. So I've done two at one and a half inches. And, and from there I'm going to continue on now cutting at two and a half inches. So I've got one two and a half away from that edge. Again, still using the board for my measurements. So that's one come along another two and a half inches is two and yet another two and a half inches because I need three strips for the binding and three so again very little waste out of that nice piece of fabric so that's my my binding that's my border that's my center and I've got the main border to cut now um, and so this is half a yard of fabric again the full width of the fabric I'm going to fold that in half again so that my selvages are together and fold it again so that I can manage that comfortably on my board. So as long as everything's sitting nice and straight and that you haven't got things all skew with, this works really well. So again, I'm, I'm making sure that everything's sitting nice and straight, straight with the board, straight on the fabric, and I'm just going to trim off that edge there. Now this border that we're putting on this quilt is cut at four and a half inches wide. So I'm just going to trim off that edge so I've got a nice neat straight edge there. And I'm going to come along. Now because we've now added on, we've got the two sides here which are obviously shorter than these two longer bits because we're just doing sides first and then top and bottom. So these bits now are going to be too long to get two out of the width of fabric. So you need a whole strip for those if, you, if you're working it all out. Um, so I'm going to cut, need to cut altogether three strips that are four and a half inches wide because one of them is still long enough at the width of the fabric to do the two sides. You can cut it to the right size and the other two you can't so you'll need the third strip. So at four and a half inches I need to cut one, then I need to cut a second one and I need to cut a third one. And just make sure I'm right, I'd hate to cut it wrong. And there's a little bit left over so that can go in the stash. And they will need to be cut to length, but that they can probably be cut to length. Um, well, you could do it now if your quarter inch seam allowance is fairly accurate. Um, by the time we've added on seams, I have actually given the cutting length cutting measurements on the pattern. So we can do that now. So you'd be, again, I'm trimming off my selvages. This is going to cut the two sides. Now the sides are going to be, our center was 17, cut 17 and a half. We're going to be adding an inch either side with the borders. So we need to cut it 19 and a half inches for this one. So we, this is double fabric. So I'm cutting two together. This is the two sides at 19 and a half inches. And I'm going to lay it all out in a minute for you to show you what we've done. And then the two longer edges, because they're going right the way across those extra sides that you've just sewn on, um, we, need, we can open those out and cut them both together again. Just lay one on top of the other. So these were four and a half inches wide. This is all on that pattern that you can download uh, when you're ready. And I'm going to trim off those selvages at the end. Selvages are not helpful, they often shrink in the wash and things. Very helpful for other things, but not in a quilt. Um, and they need to be, because we've now added on, we had our 17 inches, we added an inch either side, and then we've added four inches either side. So we've actually, when you add all those numbers up, plus your half inch seam allowance, we've got to 27 and a half inches. And so I'm going to cut my two borders. Now, I, you may not want to cut these straight away. It depends a little bit how your quarter inch seam allowance is. If you're not too sure how accurate you are with, with that, and you don't have to necessarily be accurate, it has to just work for you, um, then you can measure before you cut these borders. Um, I'm going to cut them now so that I can lay it out and show you what we're doing.
key. So I've got everything cut now so I'm going to lay it out. I'm not going to sew today because you know how to do straight sewing just with a quarter inch seam allowance. So what I've got here is my center and I didn't cut these to length did I? Oh, missed out. We better just quickly cut these. We need two of these at 17 and a half. This is the, the first border. It's going to go on the sides here. So they're the same length as, as the size of your square because they're just going on the sides. And then these next two have got to be long enough to go over those as well. But you're going to lose some in the seam allowance. So you just add on the finished size. So if we started off with 17 and a half cut, plus the finished size of the borders, which will be one inch either side, we need to cut this at 19 and a half. So when I lay it out now, it's not going to be quite right because we haven't sewn that in. So they're going to look a little bit short, but when it's all sewn, they will be right. So maybe I'll just overlap that a touch so that it looks right. It's just that half inch seam allowance being taken up every time. Okay, so that's the first border. So we're going to sew the sides on first, then the top and bottom. I have done a, a video previously on a, adding borders to your quilt in this manner. Um, and I, that was in uh, Quilting Tips and Techniques video 085, in case you're interested to have a look at that. Now for our, our next borders, again, we've done the sides first, then this is the top and bottom. So we want to continue in that same sort of order. So we're going to do the sides next. And again, just with your quarter inch seam allowance, you're going to add that on. And then you're going to add your top and bottom. Just the same way. And that should go all the way across there then. So you can see that actually has quite a different look now to the baby quilt. And... So you don't have to make a baby quilt just because you've seen one as a baby quilt. You can think of all sorts of different fabrics that you can use. And, and then we've got our binding strips. That's three binding strips. I've cut them at two and a half inches wide. I would join them um, diagonally and then I will use that. And I've actually done a video on how to put your binding on by machine. I do all mine by machine. You might want to put it on and sew it to the back and then hand sew it. I sew mine to the back, bring it to the front and machine it down. And if you're interested in that, that was on a quilting tips and techniques video and that was number 094. So that was just a, a quick run through of how to do all the cutting, more or less how you're going to put it together and if you would like to get the, the free downloadable pattern from my site gourmetquilter.com you're very welcome to do that. Um, this was the quilt again and I've just got one other one that I have whoops, started but haven't finished yet. Again another children's one, I do love the children's fabrics. And I've just um, ordered that around and I've got that one ready to, to base. So I've got my batting and my backing to go with that. And then my binding will be in this orange. So you only see a small amount of the, the binding, of course. It's only narrow by the time it's all folded and sewn on. So that was really just a, a little idea of using up a fat quarter that you don't really want to cut up into small pieces because it's just too nice to do that with. Thank you.